21 people rescued from human trafficking in Kentucky, including two minors, are safe tonight. It came during a rescue operation that took place across the country, and about half of the victims were right here in Kentucky. Kentucky State Police arrested 46 people as part of Operation United Front. Combined with other agencies across the U.S., they put 102 people in jail. Each state conducted the operation at the same time. Undercover officers arranged dates with potential victims, then rescued them. Nationally, they saved 47 people who will all be provided medical and mental health care and substance abuse help. And experts say Louisville is no stranger to human trafficking. Tonight, WDRB's Chad Mills talks to a woman who escaped human trafficking here and now has some big plans. Big plans as this young woman is rewriting her story and wants to help others do the same. This is the story of revival. This is really awesome. The story of a young woman whose life took a terrible turn. Yeah, this one. But years ago, a page was turned, so. and Marie Ange Bumba started a new chapter with a new plot. It took me a lot of years for people to actually believe my story because some people thought I was making this up, you know? Bumba is a survivor of human trafficking. It was a very traumatic situation that I never thought I could get out of. She moved to Kentucky as a nine-year-old immigrant from Africa, and the culture shock was hard. Especially as she started college, that's when her story changed so drastically. I met a lady who was trying to sell me into prostitution, and as a result of uh, that, I was raped multiple times, and um, I just went through a lot of traumatic situations with that. She remembers so-called prostitution parties where younger women and underage girls were shopped to older men for sex. She remembers her grades slipping. She remembers the emotional trauma of feeling trapped, of realizing she was a victim of human trafficking. I lost so many friends. Um, so many people walked away from my life. I was crying and I was just like not the same person. But with the help of her family, her faith, and her advisors at the University of Louisville, Bumba says she found the strength to walk away, get her degree, and turn the page. I'm not the same person who I was going through that trauma. She now works for the Center for Women and Families and is preparing for a mission trip to Guatemala to help other women experiencing what she was just a few years ago. I'm so blessed by that opportunity to be able to help people who have walked through the same shoes as I have, through similar experiences. The story of revival still being written every day. You can read more about her upcoming mission trip on WDRB.com. Chad Mills, WDRB News.